Hello everybody, I got you playing and welcome back to another episode of Elaine Noir. Just, just resume where you was here on this case. Your name is A blonde woman just came in here. Oh yeah. She went out the back way. Said she was being watched. How much did she collect? $3,600. She cleaned me out. On the Hammond Kid Galahad fight? You got it. I'm not complaining. We all made a lot of money on that one. Huge plunge on Galahad and then Hammond knocks the bum out. So she collected the money and went out through the back door. Nope. She made a phone call over there, wrote something on a notepad, and then left. Yeah, is this exactly where, uh, where we were in what the last episode. An old intelligence trick from the Marines. I know where she's headed. Let's get moving. Come on, Roy. No, it's just. <clears throat> Stop your list of times. Further to your request, Bunko Fraud has three known bookmakers operating out of storefronts in the Hollywood area Thrifty Liquor, 6106 Santa Monica. The Examiner Drugstore and a Max Spirits at 1658 North Cherokee, KGP Elkmere. Hammond backed himself to win. And Candy is picking up the winnings. Smart play. Question is, is Candy collecting on Albert's behalf or is she cheating him too? I don't know, Roy. Damn, another. You know what? Dro drive you, Roy. Will be faster. You drive. I need to go over the case notes. Car 11 King, go ahead with the further. 11 K, see the woman. A 288 just occurred on the Angelino Heights trolley. Currently stopped near Fountain and Bronson. Call in for further information. 11 K, code 2. 11 K, Roger. LAPD, ma'am. Are you alright? That low life! That filthy low life! What happened? I was standing ready to get off and I heard a click. His camera. That pervert took a picture of my <clears throat> up my Which way did he go? There! That's well, him! Right there! You fucking pervert. Oh fuck. <laughs> no what <laughs> I'm all right. Go on, Phelps, get after that creeper. Don't yell at me, Roy. I know this. Hit it. Clear this asshole off the road. Damn. Hit him, Cole. Spit him out. Well, you can shoot the tires, Roy. No! Damn it! Close. Steer him off the tar. Oops. Sorry, miss. Wow. 
What? Ah, oh, man, I can't believe. Excuse me, I need your car. Ah, oh, come on. Ah, oh, come off. Go fuck yourself, man. Uh, take two. Oh, the Chinese theater over there. Whoa. Give it up, LAPD. You're under arrest for public indecency. Oh, Christ. Hmm. Well, come on, you take pictures of the woman, really? And you complain about it, dude? Come on. The famous Chinese theater, of Hollywood. <laughs> Just let me pair in front of the Chinese theater. Is it a car? No, one but it's very similar. There is the Chinese re. Sorry. You're enjoying this, aren't you? Look at this, the Chinese theater. Okay, done. Let's go, Roy. Let's re resume the two case. You're behind the wheel. Oh, is it, this is the Chinese theater. I believe this is the Hall of, uh, the Hall of Fame, right? Detectives Phelps and Earl, LAPD. Relax, Cole. You just have a blonde in here, Mervyn? Sure did. I'm just about to close up. She took me to the cleaners. 4,000 clams and change. How long ago did you leave? Maybe five minutes. Called the cab. Asked for a number. I told her there was a card over there by the phone. Going to church doesn't make you any more Christian. Standard. Yellow cap. We need to get after her fast. Operator, give me dispatch. Can you connect me to the Yellow Cab Company, Hollywood 2187, please? This is Detective Phelps, LAPD. You dispatched a cab to 1487 Ivar Avenue, Hollywood? Yes, sir. Send one round from the pool. Do you have the number of that cab? Number 179. Thanks. We're done playing around. Get Mervyn to give us an address on Ray's place. Oh? Huh? Have any idea who Ray is? Sugar Ray. Not now, Mervyn. 
Cole doesn't have much of a sense of humor at the best of times. Ray runs a shop up on North Cherokee Avenue, just south of Hollywood Boulevard. Hmm. Thanks. Okay. Where now? planning on cleaning out every bookmaker in town. Hammond needed to make sure he was getting a bigger payday than if he'd taken the flop. Never trust the limeys, especially where a fight's concerned. A mistake we can't seem to stop making. I'm not the... Jeez, come on, Ron, you're trying to... Can you drive to this one? Eleven K calling KGPL. We'll take the four eighty four. Eleven K, see the men. Citizen reports that four eighty four just occurred at thirty one fifty five West Fourth Street. Eleven K. You you gotta help me, officer, please. Slow down. What happened? I was just walking alone, not bothering nobody, and these punks jumped me. They knocked me across my mouth and took my money. How long ago was this? N not more than twenty minutes ago, Mister. They went that way, down the alley there. Wait here. Ah, uh, really? Son of a bitch. Come on. Please, you sucker. This son of a bitch is taking the car. Shit, come on. Let's get after him. Wake up, Cole. Son of a bitch. All right, I won't wait. Son of a bitch, we trust you. And now you do this? Son of a bitch, come back here. Yeah, it was just very stupid. Come on, we do the right thing, helping me out, and then that's what you do, backstepper bastard. Now I'm gonna get arrested for that. After that, Roy, you drive him. And after that, uh, investigating on that place. You, know the way. you can drive. You, I will finish that episode. The yellow cab. That's the cab waiting up ahead. She's not in the car. Don't get too close. She must be inside. Uh, taking the tail here again. 
We're on the move again, Cole. After her. Don't lose that cab. Too close, Phelps. Way too close. How many stops is she gonna make? Hammond is full of himself, being this sure he was going to win. Vision is a virtue. Sorry, I need to go. Easy, Cole. Better back it up. That bitch has given me what I'm owed. That's all I know. That's it. We're spotted. Back off. Back off! Pull over. He's heading inside. Hmm. Spot her. Right. Oh, she could try to leave it on the bus station. I think I just saw Hammond. I'll tail him. You get in there and stay with Candy. Make sure you don't want to see Mister, a man like you always loses battles with. So... Shit, why is there no paper? Doesn't need a cover. Damn it! I was trying to find the newspaper to, to cover. God fucking damn it. Okay. I'm second take. I think I just saw Hammond. I'll tail him. You get in there and stay with Ken. Make sure you don't let him. Okay, okay. Jeez, there's this paper right Whoa! there? Easy! Going to church doesn't make you any more Christian than standing in a garage makes you a car. Here's what I heard. That cop caught the guy that did the Dahlia, but they covered it up. What the? Oh no. Oh no, you should have gonna make Call an it. Ambulance. <laughs> she gonna... said, Just try and sit still, Candy. Who me... shot you? Was it Albert? Car. I... <gasps> They're on the way. I have a patrolman searching the depot. The chief's putting together a manhunt for Hammond. He got the money, right? Looks like it. A tough bird, our limey friend. Using his girlfriend as the bag woman and then getting greedy over the split? He won't make it out of town. That's how you see it? I told you that cocksucker was a crook. She says she... She got it on shot in the chest. I'm obviously gonna make it. But what a way, huh? To die. Thirty-two caliber, one shot fired. The J 
Egyptian theater. So that's why it's called the setup. Huh. Daily anyone get uh Daily anyone always has uh, very uh so smart uh titles of all the for the uh, case we're gonna investigate. Let me finish this fucking case. I, I, I think it's only the end, so... You can drive. Do we know where they're going? Poor girl. She didn't deserve that. Poor girl. Half the precinct aren't taking a vacation this year because of her. You need to leave town a lot quicker than that if you decide to screw over Mickey C. I would have finished this episode, but I think, ah, oh, you know what? This is the last place we're gonna finish this case, so it doesn't make any sense. So let me finish first. Well, there's a bad on con, so obviously this seems easier. like a long shot, aren't they all? Car 11 King, Car 11 King, come in. Car 11 King, message from the coroner. The cause of death was a knife wound. Repeat, a knife wound. The revolver appears to have belonged to the victim. Son of a bitch. He stabbed her. I thought you said real men use their fists, not guns. That guinea cocksucker. You think he got the money too? Come on, Roy. We're bringing this whole tragedy to its conclusion. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it is the conclusion, did Michael? Why'd you kill her, Carlos? You got was with me. She was collecting the money for you. Mickey made it clear it was either me or you, and I intend to keep on living. She stole those betting slips. She was running out on me. Then you were gonna let her? No, I let her collect. I set her up, just like she set me up. Just like my manager set me up. Everyone wanted me to take a dive. Everyone wanted me to take a short money. It's for the best kid. You were washed up, kid! You couldn't climb, and you were too brave to sink. You were going nowhere! Maybe, but I had heart. I was a Royal Marine, Carlo. If I lost a fight, it wasn't for lack of trying, and it wasn't for lack of courage. I didn't have much, but I had that. I did it for you, and that's how you repay me! You did it for yourself. So did little boy. You did it and make a quick buck. And Candy did it and make her dream come true. Blah, blah, blah. I've got the money. All I need to do is get rid of you. It's going to be a shame, kid, but that's business. We've heard enough, Arcaro. Put down your weapon. You're making a big mistake, Arcaro. My hand, you asshole. Come on, Cole. Carlos a dead man. And two in the front. Throw out the guns. Ah, you're gonna pick my cat. Okay, fine. Careful, Roy. <laughs> Stay down. You're covered, Cal. I can see you. Damn it, I can see you right. You piece of shit, now you're gonna get it. Oh, sorry, Roy.
I got ya. Come out now, Hammond! Put the gun down, Roy. That son of a bitch owes me a lot of money. Catch. Escania sails from New York, Hammond. Be on the next train and don't ever come back. Why? Because I was a Marine and I once lacked courage. Everyone deserves a second chance. Now beat it. Fuck you! That English prick is getting away with my money, Phelps! Donnelly and the Homicide Squad send their best, Phelps. They're more than pleased that you wrapped up the Edwards killing. They're a little mystified about the motive. You have any ideas on that? Uh, crime of passion, sir. Uh, looks like some sort of love triangle between the manager, the fighter, and the... Uh, his girlfriend. No sign of the scrapper? No, sir. Looks like he left town after the fight. Okay. It's homicide's problem now. Good work, gentlemen. Hmm. <laughs> Roy clearly peacefully caused this situation. Well, <clears throat> That's it for this episode. Well, this is the end of the setup case episode. So, but oh man, I don't like it the way. Oh, the guy is a fighter, a true fighter, right? A true sportsman, which he, he likes to, he, which he won a fight in fair square. But then the mob says, "No, you had to lose." Come on, there's no sportsmanship about that. And of course, Roy is super pissed because, well, he, because well, since Roy is already kind of have a connection with the mob to keep it under the control, which is, and of course is not very good word as policeman. But hey, at least, well, if well besides the tragedy with the girl, well, she, at least the the uh, Albert Hammond made made it to get away um, free and of course if we really call Abraham the mob we were gonna kill him so it was the best choice so anyway thank you guys so much to watch my channel if you enjoy give a like and subscribe and put your comments down below what you think this episode and I'm gonna put the links of Twitter Instagram and Discord down below too in the description and you come you can follow me so remember folks here we all winners so I'm gonna see don't worry folks I'm gonna see you in the next episode bye bye